told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey G'day, how you going? Uh, just another day out, um, had the first sort of cold snap down here in Victoria for a long time so myself and Maisie and Scout are just out for a drive we're currently standing at the top of the Reefton Spur Marysville's one way Woods Point's the other so we're going to head down towards Point just for a bit of a drive and a bit of a look around but off in the distance there we can hear some rally cars and that going on so I know there's an event on today or not but we're about to jump back in the car now Head towards Woods Point. Like I said, not sure how far we'll get. We're just out for a bit of a uh, soggy Saturday drive. So we've had a few cars go past. Um, like I said, must be an event on. Can't be just guys out going for a bit of a drive, but yeah, we're gonna head down the road now. There's no signage anywhere, so they must be just doing a transport stage. The wind's starting to pick up. I've got chainsaw and stuff with me anyway, if there's any trees down. We're about to jump in the car and head down towards uh, Woods Point. So I've just come along this uh, road towards Matlock. Just want to say this suspension is performing awesome. So it's the first good hit out on some good corrugations, some good dirt roads. So I've done all the whole way run loaded. It's handling so good, like compared to the patrol and just how that was set up. It was probably a little bit soft probably, but this is just nice and uh, yeah, just well set up. I'm stoked with this Ironman suspension so far, but yeah, keep moving along and uh, See how far we get to. Okay, so we made our way down into Woods Point. We just had lunch at the commercial hotel. I've probably got sauce on my face. So myself, Maisie and Scout now, just gonna go for a bit of a look around Woods Point. I've got one of the most photographed service stations in the country right behind me, but it's not actually operational. Probably other than the Pink Roadhouse, which I've got photos of and have been there in the past. So it's drizzly now, as you can tell. I think it's about six degrees, but it doesn't actually feel like that. It feels a bit warmer than that, so that's all good. So now we're just about to head down the creek. Let's get out for a bit of a run. So just off the main street there, there's this little um, picnic area. It's a good little spot to stop. Doesn't matter what the weather's like, whether it's a nice warm sunny day or a wintry day in May like what it is today, but Woods Point's got a lot of, uh, a lot of history in Woods Point. You would easily spend a good day walking around here, just checking out everything. It's very photogenic town as well. We're probably a little bit late for the autumn leaves, 
but um, it's still very picturesque uh, nonetheless. Now I've been to Cumberland Woods Point for a long time, so my great, uh, great uncle worked on the roads and my great grandfather worked on the roads between here and Jamison many, many years ago. There's a lot of forward driving that kicks off from here. Or well, this is a place where people use this as a stopover on the way through using a lot of the tracks that drop in and out of varying degrees of difficulty. But um, today we just drove through a lot of fog and mist, rain. I think the lowest we saw on the temperature gauge was three degrees. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna let Scout out for a bit of a run and enjoy the town. We're probably gonna head back through via Jamison, which is 56 Ks from here. So we'll make our way back that way. Okay, so I'm at the top at Frenchman's Gap. So I'm 1,082 metres above sea level. The wind's buzzing above the trees. Right here's German Spur Track. Uh, we won't be doing that today. It's getting about three o'clock Saturday afternoon and it's a, quite a steep track. We're by ourselves and um, haven't got that winch wired up yet, even though it's sitting in the front of the car. Just got to get that wired up, but we'll continue heading down towards Jamison. But yeah, the mist through the trees, it's absolutely awesome. Right, -o. so I'm at the bottom of uh, Moonlight Spur Track. This track here actually climbs all the way up towards Mount Terrible Track. And then if you turn right, you follow Mount Terrible Track <clears throat> and head to the top of Mount Terrible. Moonlight Spur Track is a great track. Many years ago, it used to be really um, quite rutted and rocky and big rock steps and everything like that. I remember one time, done it quite a few times, but one time I did it in a, I had a 2001 Hilux. By the time I got to the top, my billy in the back had been bouncing around that much on all my camping gear, and it ended up like a, like a little ball of uh, metal. You couldn't mold it into that shape if you tried. So yeah, it was quite a good track um, back in those days. Um, and you do have this little crossing at the bottom. So if you're coming down it, just remember your brakes might be a uh, bit hot as they hit this cold water here in the river. But yeah, it's a great little spot. You can camp here. There's a camping spot just on the other side of the where I'm parked at the moment as well. And Knockwood Camping Reserve is just down from here as well. And this weekend there's only one camp in there. So it looks like a few mo mo uh, motorbike riders out there riding around. Um, yeah, so not many people around. I've only passed two cars so far from Woods Point to Knockwood. But all right, time to continue on. Just thought I'd stop here and uh, give you a look at this river crossing. Now, something else while you're driving along this road here and from Matlock down, there's been quite a few of these historic marker points. So this is the one here at Knockwood. This is the only one I've stopped at. But they just point out all the little town ships that were along here. So this one here at the Golden Age Hotel. And there's a photos here and an information board. Now, there is a little map booklet. I remember seeing it years ago of all these spots. So I think it, from memory, it went from Walhalla through to Apafeldi and leads, leads through towards Jamison there. But just for those points of interest, you could easily fill a weekend checking all those out. Um, we might even do it one weekend. If you want to see us do a video about these, uh, comment down below. I might even uh, do that maybe next summer, get a few people together and we can uh, follow the historic markers all the way through. But yeah, great points of interest for everyone to check out. So now here we are in Jamison on the banks of the uh, Jamison River. 
So the drive from Woods Point to here, you do follow the Goulburn River quite a bit along the bottom. It's quite a scenic drive through there. It's quite good, but just remember to keep in mind it is narrow in, in sections and to watch for any oncoming traffic. Now, Jamison's quite special to us. I'll pop a link just here to a video where I talk about Jamison. Um, my Nana was born and raised here and Gerin's Reserve opposite the Jamison Courthouse Hotel was named after my great uncle. So there's even a Gerin's Bridge in town here and the farm was in the family for 150 years. So yeah, we really enjoy coming here. We actually even had a on-site van at the caravan park here, um, which we only sold a couple of years ago. So we had that for about six years uh, just for our uh, trips away and stuff for a bit so we had that for a while as well so that was really good but we still went camping everywhere while we had that but it was just good for these this time of year so we'll wrap this video up here so thanks for watching our soggy saturday drive give us a comment down below and subscribe and a like and all that fun stuff and i'll see you all on the next one cheers i know you told your friend you're not okay Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away You can't leave it, it's a statue <laughs> And she thought that was a person Smart one